Hi guys, Yellow Fiber here, and welcome to my first Let's Play on this Farming Sim 17 map, which is called Lawfolds, and it's in Aberdeenshire. Um, we're going to be bringing this farm up through the stages, earning money, and uh, producing sustainable crops for um, our area and surrounding areas. So, as you can see, I've started the combine off over there. Got a Massey Ferguson combine harvesting wheat. Uh, I've got the fast track set up with the trailer ready when he's gonna, when he when he needs to be unloaded. We'll uh, go and empty him. Um, and yeah, so this map's based in Scotland, I believe. Um, we've got we start off with quite a lot of kit actually. So we start off with we've got the corn header, we've got header trailer which which I took off and took up there. We've got our potato harvesting equipment got fast track, the trailers etc, we've got a fence, what's that, three, three 110 vario, 310 vario, so I think about around 100 horsepower, nothing too special but at least it's got a front loader, we've got nice cultivator there, nice drill, probably a vertistat or a horse, what is it, vertistat, We've got an Amazon uh, plow, how many furrows? Six furrow plow, reversible. We've got a skid steer. Uh, what we've got the mini seed drill. Is that a mini drill? Yeah, mini drill, Cavaland. Uh Sammy or Same, whatever you s I don't know, however you pronounce it. Nice tractors and 190. And we've got a Hurleyman um, with row crops on uh, with a fertilizer spread in the back. So, um, yeah, got a good array of machines. We've also got another tipper trailer. We just took a water bowser, slurry tanker, and obviously got cows. I think they're down there. And yeah, I think there's some more stuff around here. Um, yeah, so we've got our sprayer, baler, front mower, and a tedder. Uh, and in there we have a wind rower and a self propelled forage wagon. So, quite a lot of kit and we've got a nice store of uh, seed and fertilizer and whatever we need liquid fertilizer so yeah um, looks to be a good map as I say it's based in uh, Scotland so it's you know it's nice I like maps in the UK as I'm from the UK as you might already know or well, we can tell definitely he has a strobes on, so it looks like he's sort of ready to unload. Wait for it to turn around, and we're um, start unloading. So yeah, we got the fast track. I think it's a 4,000 series. No, three, 3,200, probably 180 horsepower. I think around that. So let me just check the game volume quickly, because I don't know how loud it is. I think I've got it quite low, so that's good. Yeah, volume. Turn that down one. Actually, I'll leave that up. And yeah, radio off obviously for copyright reasons. Environment volume 10, vehicle volume 10. Hopefully, you can hear it all right. If you can't, well, I'll review it after. But it should be all right when it's released. Let's unload the combine. <coughs> so yeah, it's our massive combine. Harvesting wheat by the looks of it. I'm doing. Uh, one a month, was it barley? Looks like barley we're harvesting. Uh, no, one a month, sorry, we do, I'm doing one a week on this map. Uh, I might do another map as well. Um, hopefully, I can get you know, uh, a few people that like my videos and share other things with me. Because I'm all up for support and everything. So, yeah. Once we've collected this grain, what I'll do is I will collect some grain from the store and it helps if I can stay straight I'll collect some grain from our stores and um, right he's done and we'll go sell it because we need to get as much money as we can at this stage we have a baler but it's a round baler I'm not too keen on round balers they take forever to collect the bales we'll leave him going and we'll go fetch some more grain. I believe this is barley we've got. So, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I'm not too sure on the symbols in farming sim, but I believe it's barley. We've got a nice fast track. I believe this is our store, store here, grain storage. Let's have a look. Yep, very nice up. Right, and I think what we'll do is we'll quickly find out where the um, st stores are. Uh, where do we sell our grain? Let's have a look. Where can we sell our grain? Ah, highest price is A N M Group Grains. I don't know where that is. Where is that? Um. Let's see if I can fast travel there. If I go. Here, I think. Go to places. Bales. There. Visit. Ah, so it's literally at the shop. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we'll get back on our fast track. Which is just around the corner. And we'll drive to the shop. And we'll sell our this grain. Let's close the map. silly of me. <coughs> so yeah, hopefully I can get um, some more videos out to you guys. And also, feel free to check out our other members on our channel, which is Rad Monitor, which will be doing Total War strategy games, etc. Uh, CS Plays, who will be doing Minecraft, not my sort of thing, but he likes doing it. So we're going to be sort of created a little channel, JCL Gaming, um, which is going to be a mixed um, variation of uh, things, so Farming Simulator 17, as you can tell now, uh, Total War Rome, uh, Total War Napoleon, what else is Rad Monitor going to do? I think maybe War Thunder as well. But I'm more of the simulator man. So, if you want me to play a certain simulator, then feel free. I'll invest in buying it, and I'm pretty sure my PC can run it. Well, our PC can run it because it's very powerful. Right, let's pull out. I think it's down here in the shop this way. Yeah, Lawfolds Farm. As you can see there. And we need to get back. Well, I don't think we're going to get back by the time the combine's done, that's for sure. I mean, if we do, then that'd be good, but I'm not too sure uh, if we will or not. But it looks like we need a front weight on here, because the front wheels do seem a bit light. So, yeah, as you can see, it's moving around a bit. But yeah, we all go to the shop and sell this grain. God knows how much. But, is it left here? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Don't beep your horn. I am only turning my... Oh, people around here don't like me already. Let's put forward drive on. There we go. <coughs> yeah, I have drive control mod. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, then comment and I'll do it. Um, so I've got like, the space bar is basically my shuttle box for real life, so forward and reverse. I've got forward drive, diff lock, well, crab steer if you're in a crab a teleander or something like that. But yeah, um, I'm looking at getting the GPS mod though, because I've had that's a good mod, but I'm only downloading mods that are on the Giants store. I don't know if. The GPS mod is on the giant store, but I'm not going to download it yet. Because I need to trial it first. I'm guessing this is the store here, yep. Yeah. A&M Group. 
they tow barley and everything. Great, so we'll be coming to these guys. Let's reverse her up and see how much we get. So bearing in mind it's only 81% full, so... Oh, so we've got good money. 10,000 so far. 12,000 from harvest. From the first, uh, well, 80%. So if we keep bringing that money in, then we're going to be able to afford other things, such as new equipment, new, uh, more sustainable equipment, and bigger equipment. Right, let's head back to... This is a bit dangerous, isn't it? Sorry, car. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, let's gun it back and see what the combine's doing. Going a bit too fast and catching up with the cars already. I don't want to overtake them because that'd be so unfashionable for me, but I don't want to get too close. And they're only going about 20 mile out, which is best, is it? This is a very dangerous junction by the looks of it. Cars everywhere. Right, let's pull in. Sorry, Mr. Truck Driver. Pickup truck driver. In, Amer in uh, America, they're very popular, but this is Scotland, and... Um, Pick up, I'm guessing it's not too... Oh, don't crash into the fence. Always keep your eyes on the road, as you'll never know what's around the corner. And this guy is going about 20 odd mile an hour, and I'm in a fast track. Not good. Let's put the cover back on the trailer. Hopefully next time we won't have traffic. Right, let's turn in here. And that's what happens when you don't look at the road and there's a visible wall. Well, a fence that's visible. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, oh, helper, is, helper A has a full grain tank, so it looks like we're going to have to go and load. And we're just in time. We don't want to be holding for too long because it costs a lot of money. We did get a good about 12,000 out of that. So, let's see how much grain we get out of this hopper. A lot of fields. We need to look. We should really get that field sown. And um, we have got a big enough tractor to support the drill. So I think we might do that in a second once we've got this guy unloaded. Please, let's have got to drive in the crop. <sighs> Don't like doing it, but sometimes you've got to do it. Hopefully we'll get a decent amount out of this. Probably 50%, maybe. Maybe a bit, probably 52, something like that. Obviously you don't want to drive in the crops too much. Right, so 40%. Not great, but better than nothing. So I put the lid back on and we'll just wait here. 
whilst we get the other tractor ready. Let's find it. Well, it's this one here. It does have front loader brackets on it. Which is good. Right. Uh, there's the drill. Have you got a front weight around here? There's one. Just need a front weight on there just to keep the wheels down a bit. Is an Abco weight. What have we got inside? Oh. So we've got wheat. Nice. And whilst I'm here, I will go into the settings and I will turn this off, which is that so he's not buying stuff as he goes so off for now off okay normal yeah we'll change that to one real time okay let's unlock the gate start doing some drilling whilst waiting for the combine to fill Activate Proceed HUD. What's that? Oh. oh. What is that? Work with six meters. Switch driving line. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to do that, so I'll turn that off. <laughs> I get what it is, but we don't want to use that. Turn my strobes off, because I don't want the birds to know where I am. And what we'll do is we'll do a bit of drilling. Lower the drill. Turn her on. Perhaps we don't go in the grass. I do have a a mod which basically sort of makes it more realistic when drilling, so the sounds wise, if I turn the drill on, it like it would make well you probably can't hear it but it makes a beep. It just turns the drills on. So But yeah, let's get this field done. Obviously, one when the um, combine's full, we'll switch to a higher worker. But yeah, I do like this tractor. I think it's um, very. How can I word it? We'll go on the headland first, I think. Let's put forward drive on. Go on the headland first. So then the AI does not get too confused. Right. In real life, obviously. I wouldn't do this with scarf and down, but the AI in this game does get confused sometimes. So it's better to mark out. It's got a manual gearbox, which I'm not a f big sort of fan off but it's a nice tractor I do like the sounds it looks alright not sure um, what 
Um, try to group the part if they're on their own. I'm not sure. They're not definitely not Anko. Uh, but you know what I mean. It's just. I think what we're doing now is we'll lift it up. See, see that? Can you hear that? It basically means you've got the you've got the drill raised, which you're not so it means you're not doing it, sort of thing, just to warn you. Sorry if it's annoying. But as soon as I lower the drill, I think it should stop. There you go. So so yeah, it's a good mod, I like it. I think it's very realistic. I've got four-wheel drive on, so... It does struggle at the end of the hill, but... It's only one... I think it's a, only a 150... I think it's only 150 horsepower, this tractor. We'll quickly have a look, actually, what horsepower it is. Uh, we've got a garage... Oh, so it's 193, not bad. So it is, what well, it says, a 190, so it's got an extra 3 bit of horsepower. But, fair enough, I didn't, honestly, I didn't know that. But obviously you've got the John Deere's, so the 6150R is 150 horsepower and a 6R series. 6 series, so they've got like a, say if you had an 8 series, like an 8335R, it would have 335 horsepower. Or maybe boosted, I don't know, or maybe under. But, you got the series number, then the horsepower after. So this one, it's just a 190. So I think it's just a 190 horsepower. Right. Awesome. As you can see, I'm not too straight with the drill, but better than nothing. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do one of these once a week. Oh, and helper A's grain full is full. Grain tank's full, so we'll get into the fast track. And we will go fetch grain. Oh, he's nearly done this field. So do I do that side, but we can move that. Drive in <laughs> uh, going again, which isn't good, but it's only a small part of it. We'll probably be close to filling it, really, so I think for now I'll put it in storage and then sell it at the start of the next episode. Because it is a long trip. Probably 80 something, no 81, there we go. Yep, I don't want any more grain, thank you. But yeah, um, I've got good knowledge in farming. Well, not as good as some people, but I'm still, you know, I'm not a noob at it or <laughs> whatever. Um, do drive tractors in real life. Not as a job, but more as a... Well, I'd say as a job and a hobby. I mean, you sometimes you'll get money out of it. I mean, it's more of a... Where am I going? Where is the storage of this? Is it here? Yeah. It's more of a... A fun thing to do. I don't work there full-time. I'm more on the farm. I do, like, a, maybe a few days a week or... A, sort of uh, a few, maybe a few days a month that sometimes, it depends. During the harvest it's quite up there quite a lot, but obviously during the winter I'm not up there as much. We've 
what we'll do is we'll leave this here. In the headland. And we'll go back into the taking of worker. And we'll continue. So he's done a few more rows. Well, probably one more, I think. We're, on, we're running low on, well, 34%, so... Yeah, we're running low on fire to start. Not a bad drill to start off with, really. Bearing in mind, quite a lot of the other maps you start off with a tiny drill. I mean, this is a good sized drill to start off with. In my eyes, um, what you start off with in the base game, so... What's the first map called? You know the first... What's it called? Um, it's not Goldcrest Valley, it is Goldcrest Valley, isn't it? Yeah, Goldcrest Valley. Um, Hang on, let's just slow that down. I don't sort of like what you start off with. You don't get much equipment. I mean, on this, I mean, brilliant. What you start off with is small modern equipment, which the modern day isn't. This isn't too big. I mean, it medium-sized tractor. We're obviously going to be working up to bigger tractors, so bigger machinery, more cows. I don't think we have any cows at the moment, but you know. Doing a bit of silage, etc. But yeah, all in all, it's a good map. I do like it. Got one hour in this tractor. Game time, I guess. Or was that ten minutes? There we go. But yeah, um, I might do other let's plays. I'm going to continue with my um, machinery reviews as well. So uh, reviews on Deutz any tractor really. I've, done, I've already done a Deutz uh, with a Joskin muck spreader. I've already done one of them. Be sure to check that out. Make sure you leave a like. I like the support. And Oh, I'm low on seed. So I make this our last run. Or whenever we run out. It's just, it's just reminding me that I've got about 5% left. 3% it should beat when I'm empty. I think we call that a... for now, hang on. We'll fold it up and we'll, we'll do it, we'll refill it. So yeah, we're getting the skid steer. And nice little skid steer. Oh, this helps a bit of reverse. And we'll fill up we'll turn the engine off the tractor. We're wasting fuel. And we will Some seed. Not the best at doing this, but okay, let's go a bit higher. Yep, 
guess if I just do that and pop into the tractor, it will start refilling it. Okay. And I don't need fertiliser by the looks of it. I might do, but I don't think we do. Right, we'll get the next load. As I said, I'm not the best at this, but it could be worse. Give it to 100% because obviously you don't want to keep coming back and refilling. Just turn around. The good thing about the skid steer is you can basically just turn on the spot without <laughs> destroying a drill. I mean, there's a bad side of like you have to sort of hold down you know, it's more, obviously it's not like a wheel like you turn it, it's more like a tracked sort of vehicle even though it's got wheels it still acts the same as a tracked vehicle and sometimes it's hard to manoeuvre Maybe, I think three I do, maybe four, I don't know. This might do it. 98, that's enough. Okay. So what we do is we put the skid steer away. Skitters away, and yeah. So let's quick. Oh, helper A's grain tank is full, so I'll unload this. See, like I've got realistic steering, so if I press M, sort of it holds the steering wheel in position, but it's not good when you're in the road when, I'm do when you're doing it, sort of thing. And on a keyboard, it's not the greatest. I think it's designed for steering wheels. So I'll, pr I'll show you now. It's quite difficult to sort of use it as I you can't really stay in a straight line. And it's you know. But yeah, well, I'll collect this and then. See what's what. I think it's about forty percent. I think it's forty percent he gives us. Yeah, there we go. Put the cover on. Verse out of here. Headland. So, um, I think we'll call that an episode, and next time we'll be finishing the drill, doing a bit more drilling, finishing that field. I'm going to buy a baler, uh, so we can bale it, a square baler. I'm not going to buy around. I'm going to sell around baler because I don't like them and it's easier with a square bailer and you can buy also run an auto stacker so I don't have to be using a forklift and yeah so and then obviously we'll cultivate that in after we collect the bales and then we'll leave that to grow 
Um, we're probably putting a hard worker to get done whilst that's being done. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Um, if I've made any mistakes, just please point it out. Like I've obviously crashed twice, but uh, that happens. I'm just getting used to the game, really. And if I had a steering wheel, I wouldn't have crashed. It's the keyboard. I'm not too used to it, really. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out uh, CS Plays. We're doing Minecraft. He's already released his first, I think, Egg Wars video. And uh, Rab Monitor, who will be uploading very shortly as well, doing Total War. Um, so it's been Yellow Fiber, and I'll see you next time.